are most of you crossed a bridge today that needs to be repaired or replaced? This is a growing problem, not just here in the tri-state, but really all across the country, Kyle. A uh, bill to fund a massive bridge rebuilding is stuck in Congress, and without it, supporters say it will take a really long time to fix all of our troubled bridges. How long? That's the question in tonight's Dwayne, Is That Right? The tri-state is full of bridges, from iconic crossings to massive structures of steel. Our bridges allow hundreds of thousands of cars and trucks to cross the Ohio and other rivers, creeks, and streams every day. But many of our bridges are out of date or crumbling. It's so bad, a viewer wrote to me stating it'll take a century to replace and fix all of them. Dwayne, is that right? In its most recent report card, the American Society of Civil Engineers gave our nation's bridges a C+. Just over 9% of all bridges are structurally deficient. That means they have serious problems. The Brent Spence Bridge is listed as functionally obsolete. That means it wasn't built to carry the amount of traffic it does today. More than 13% of the nation's bridges are functionally obsolete. That means one in four bridges across the U.S. needs to be fixed or replaced. And right now, America has no comprehensive plan to do this. Without that, the question remains, how long would it take to fix all our bridges? For the answer, we turn to the American Road and Transportation Builders. At the current rate, the ARTBA found it would take 80 years to make the significant replacement and repairs on all our bridges, which is far longer, by the way, than most of our bridges are meant to last. Technically, if you said it will take a century to replace all our bridges, you're wrong. But it's close enough that you should be concerned that we still don't have a comprehensive bridge rebuilding plan. After all, the numbers reveal that would be the right thing to do. I'm Dwayne Pullman. And you can read that report from the American Road and Transportation Builders for yourself. Just go to the Dwayne Is That Right section of Local12.com. There's a link to the full report in Dwayne's story.